Welcome to Training Days. I'm Danny Kleffinger and I'm here with Coach Sermons to talk about running backs. Well, one of the plays that, um, that I want to describe to you is, um, is a power play. Defenses are designed to stop the run. They assign each defensive player a gap. You can see basically what they're doing is building a wall here. And the biggest thing with the power play, what it wants to do is create some double teams and knock a hole in the wall that the defense is, is trying to take care of. And what we have the, the H or the tailback do on this is he's going to line right at about seven to seven and a half yards. Um, we always give him an alignment, an aim point, which is the inside leg of the guard, and we also give him a read. All right, his read is he's going to start up from the A gap and work its way out. Starting from the center is we'll take the center, he'll block back on the three technique, we'll take the, um, the front side or play side guard, he's going to block down on the nose, and here's our double team that we're trying to create. All right, in a perfect world, we say that this defensive end is responsible for the C-gap, so we're going to double team him to get some good push, and they're going to work their combination block back here to the will linebacker. The fullback is responsible for the Sam. What we do backside here, and part of the reason why we have the center blocking back is because we're going to take this backside guard and we're going to pull him around, and he's responsible for that front side bubble backer, in this case, the mic. And we'll take the uh, back side tackle. He'll work what we call a hinge block. The first thing he's going to do is he's going to step down, step back first initially to slow down this three technique so he can't get upfield to try to help the center, and then he'll work out to take care of that defensive end. Now, this is where your safeties and whoever has run support come into play because what a lot of defenses like to do is once they build what they think is a wall with uh, gap responsibility is the next thing they'll do is utilize one of these safeties to be a run support versus the, um, the, the halfback. So that's when we come over here to the play side receiver. He's going to initially going to take off and he's going to assess this cornerback. If the cornerback stays here, he will block him. If that cornerback drops off, all right, because they're playing some type of quarters coverage, we're going to bring that safety down. What you will see is you'll see that receiver let, uh, leave the corner, and now he'll run in there and try to get to that um, safety before he can make the play. Now, talking about the halfback. The halfback has a couple of things that happens to him before that ball is even snapped. Uh, the first thing he's always trying to do is, is assess what type of front he has to understand where he needs to fit the play. Once those things happen, is he's going to take his drop step, the quarterback is going to try to run the ball to him as deep as possible. We, give the, we tell the halfback on this play is make sure you stay inside that pulling guard and you're going to hit this play a gap and out, straight downhill, assessing the double team, and from there it's really about just being a running back and going to make the play. Now, Coach, we're going to see this play in action, right? You've got Correct. it to show me? Correct. Well, let's watch it. All right. Each defender. Um, it has gap responsibility. That's how they try to build the wall to stop your run game. Here's the first initial down block right there by the left guard on the nose. All right, and here's your, here's your double team where you're going to have the tight end. You got, you know, Lance and Greg double teaming that defensive end back there to that Will linebacker. That's a great job by those guys. And then here's the center's block. All right, B blocking back on that three technique. And like we mentioned, the backside tackle has to step down to prevent him from penetrating upfield. Fullback responsible for the Sam who's up on the ball. A nice job here by, by Trey Mason. Boom, there's the Sam. And it gets back to what I was talking about, is for backs, you have to have really good quick feet because the hole is going to open and close fast. I mean, he's got two, two um, defensive players that get a, gets a hand on him, but you know he gets through there. And this, we always tease Mace about this because we put him one-on-one -on -one with the safety and you got to, those are the ones we're expecting expecting him to win. Well, Coach, thanks for breaking down the backfield yeah, with me. Should, I really you, appreciate it. Well, you should it. know about it, that time you spent with us. I know. Right? I'm a running back at heart. <laughs> that, that's right. You did a great job with Thank that. you. Thanks, Coach, and thanks, fans, for tuning in to Training Days. <laughs>